My name is Gia Biaggi. I'm Director of Strategy and Policy for the Chicago Park District, and I was principal in charge of the Maggie Daly Park Project. So this project came out of necessity. Uh, the park itself is actually sitting on top of a parking garage. If you think of a parking garage essentially as a bathtub, and if the bathtub had a lid, it would be the park on top. Now in between that park and that bathtub is a waterproofing membrane, and that membrane has failed and needs to be replaced. And so in order to replace it, you actually have to scrape off the entire park. So context was very important with this park. Um, we were very mindful of the role of Millennium Park and really transforming how people in Chicago and even in the world thought about urban, public, open spaces. And so that was a, that's a high bar to me. So that's one piece of the contextual picture. picture. The other piece is the lake right behind me over my shoulder where it's important for us to make those connections. So one of the things we've done in the design is to create great views of the lake. So imagine, if you will, these dramatic hills that you can walk to the top of and see both Buckingham Fountain, Millennium Park, and the lake at the same time. So with a park like this, with such a significant context, with all the eyes of Chicago and even the world on a space like this, we knew we had to get it right with the design team. So we did an international design competition. And in the end, it was Michael Van Valkenburg and Associates. Their work includes Brooklyn Bridge Park in New York, Hudson River Park, places that are able to create great things in difficult circumstances, at times with relatively modest budgets. I think the other um, important characteristic is that Van Valkenburg's firm understands Chicago in terms of its seasonality, is that it's easy to get a park right in the summer, in the spring but it's much harder to get winter right. It's very hard to get a park right in an environment where you have major seasons. And, and in Chicago, with such a long winter, um, we certainly have to pay attention to that. And so, so objects like the ice skating ribbon, like a landscape that is interesting, not just in summer and the winter time, are the kinds of ideas that came out of that firm. Um, and we're very pleased with the results. So behind me, you'll see one of the design challenges for this park. There are 37 vent structures in this park, and they're fairly noticeable. So while we have to keep the vents, um, we wanted to come up with innovative ways to really hide the vents or figure out ways to just embed them in the landscape so you don't even notice them. That's another physical challenge in this park is uh, on its face, simply the accessibility. We certainly have multiple entrances. We have um, ramps that need to be easier for people with strollers and wheelchairs to get up and down. And so while we're certain that the wonderful design elements that will be expressed in this park will attract people, it wasn't necessarily the intent to make it more attractive, but to create a park that fits in better, a section of Grant Park that fits in better with what's going on in the design community in terms of really innovative park design and in terms of how it it works well with its context. So over my shoulder, we'll have a play garden, which will be the largest playground anywhere in the city, over two acres worth of play space. And it's not your ordinary playground. The idea in calling it play garden is to co-mingle landscape and equipment, and equipment that's not out of a catalog, but that is deliberately designed to fit in well with the landscape features and the balance of the park. So late fall of this year, You'll see fences go up and you'll see the park begin to be peeled back. Um, it will take us two years to get through construction. So that means that summer of 2013 and summer of 2014, the park will be under construction. And the idea is that we'd like to open the winter components like the ice skating path in the fall of 2014 and we'll do final plantings in spring of 2015. So it'll be a long schedule, but we think it's worth waiting for.